Good morning, it is Sunday. I am in no makeup and my scrappy decorating clothes again because today, as promised, God, like what, two weeks ago? Because <laughs> we have been away ever since then. Um, We're going to wallpaper the upstairs landing. I'm quite scared. I've not wallpapered in a very long time. And the last and only time I've wallpapered, it was a big long straight wall with nothing more complicated than a couple of sockets to get around. Whereas we're going to be doing the upstairs, which has sockets, light switches, and two doors. Oh, and a curve. Here's all the kit. There's some wallpaper. There's my able assistant. <laughs> and here is what we're gonna wallpaper. And obviously as a blogger I'm using some softbox lighting because it's a little bit dark up here at the moment and uh, why not use the equipment you've got? Wish us luck! Wallpaper chaos everywhere! But we have two drops done and I kind of love the wallpaper. Still some clean up to do but I have to say I am pretty pleased with that. Yay for wallpapered walls! So that is another tick in the box for our hall and landing makeover. We just need to sort out the shelving now that we're going to put in the rather empty looking at the moment hallway behind me. Oh, <laughs> bright lights. Um, so yeah, we just uh, got changed. I've washed and blow dried my hair, which takes for freaking ever because it's getting really long now. Um, and we're going to settle in. We've got some lovely cheeses that my friends bought me for a birthday gift, which they gave to me in Wales. So we're going to settle down with some cheese and some biscuits and a nice beer, watch a film and try not to think about the fact that it's the first day back at work tomorrow after a week off. It'll be fine, right? Good morning, vloggy vlogsters. It is Friday. Friday, yay, woo. I'm really tired. Going back to work after a week off is really hard, isn't it? Ah, even if you enjoy what you do. Um, so yeah, so I've just been working all week. It's been a bit of a crazy week. I've had a um, big project I've been working on go live. So um, thumbs up for that. So today is a kind of more bloggy, vloggy type day. It feels like the first, like Friday this year in my kind of schedule for 2017. Friday was meant to be my like big day for getting stuff done. And it just hasn't been. It's been a day of getting like death related forms filled in and stuff like that which has been really rubbish um and it feels like this is the first week because i've been away for a couple of fridays as well because i've been really nice break refresh and then i can just get back into it so i've already published a blog post today an actual blog my last blog was at the beginning of march bad blogger but yeah I've got, I, in fact i've scheduled two blog posts get me and I'm now just working on a vlog um other plans for the day are once I've sorted this out I have to do a post office run because I've had um some clothes arrived that I've ordered from Joni and ASOS and New Look um I've already taken the ASOS kind of rejects back but I need to take back the Joni rejects and um the New Look rejects I say rejects like the stuff from Joni especially, it's so lovely, it just doesn't work for me. Um, so I should give you a quick show of that probably on the vlog today. Um, just some general stuff like, you know, putting away washing, washing fans, uh, a few errands around the house. Tomorrow, I've got quite an exciting day. I am working at Resorts World tomorrow during the day, doing some mini colour workshops for their spring event. Really looking forward to that. Cannot wait. Okay, oh, weird lighting. Okay, I have, it's much later, as you can probably tell by how dry my hair is, and I have finally finished editing my Barcelona birthday vlog. Oh, I wanna go back to the sunshine and the tapas and the carva. Um, anyway, that's now done. So I'm gonna actually blow dry my hair, otherwise it will look like this forever. Um, and uh, have a quick sort through those parcels. I need to do a post office run. I 
was quite looking forward to going for a walk. It's sitting on horribly dark in here. I think the camera is correcting for it. But before I show you the bits of clothes that I bought, because I'm going to put those in a haul, I'm probably not going to put these bits in a haul, but I just picked up a few little essentials. Um, so, uh, I have been using the Bare Minerals Original. Oh, focus, focus, focus. I've been using the Bare Minerals Original Foundation since I found out about all my allergies, because it seems to be just the best one every day for me like it doesn't give me the coverage that I love but overall it does the best job that I can find that doesn't irritate my skin at all um so I picked up whilst I went to go and replace one of those the Bare Pro because I'd read quite good things about it it's meant to give kind of better coverage and better kind of performance better like from a long wear point of view if I'm wearing my makeup, it just, it's not lasting all day, the original one. Uh, so I'm hoping this performs a little bit better. And because I'm a sucker, <laughs> I also bought the brush that goes with it, which apparently, you know, I couldn't possibly have put it on with any other brush. Uh, I also just picked up a replacement of my La Roche-Posay um, Tolerian, 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 God knows. I did French A-level, I should be better at this. I'm guessing it's Tolerian um, Ultra. Uh, which again is kind of the best moisturiser I found for my super super sensitive skin and in prettier things the best lipstick I found so far for me to use because my lips are a particular area of trouble is the um, NARS Audacious so I picked up a couple of colours of that I picked up um, ooh, what are they I picked up Natalie and Claudia um, which are a couple of pinks so Natalie is kind of like a bright coral pink and Claudia is more of a bubblegum pink. And this takes my lipstick collection up to a massive five lipsticks. Oh my God, can you believe I'm the girl who used to wear just lipstick every day, you know, without even thinking about it. Ugh. Anyway, you know, I'm getting back there. I think I just have to kind of just accept the fact that I can no longer just wear lipstick every day without thinking about it, that it's something that I'm gonna to have to really, you know, think about depending on how my skin is and how my dermatitis is and whether I've had any allergic reactions to anything. Or like, adult onset allergies really suck. I used to be able to just put anything on my face. Possibly that's what caused it, who knows. Right, so I'm just sorting out my returns. Here's the first one. It's this blue dress from New Look which actually it's really nice like it's a lovely soft fabric it's got a stretch lining which i find is really you know in sort of workwear is really difficult to find i just don't love it and you know it's early enough in the season that i want to send anything i don't love back you know i only like to wear things that i really really adore things that put me off it's got um, a silver zip rather than gold i know that's really nitpicky also this little bit here where it kind of drapes over the bust this literally just falls over the fullest part of my bust um, and I just don't quite like that. Uh, but it's a really good length, the wrap is really flattering. I mean I totally recommend people try out this dress because it is so nearly perfect on me that it's got to be right for someone else and they do it in loads of colours. Also from New Look and also going back is this kind of cluster rose gold necklace. Um, the only reason this is like a classic online shopping one is I thought it was going to be much chunkier. You can see I've not even taken it out of the packaging. Um, the model who was modelling it was obviously teeny tiny because this is really, really fine. Um, and I've got fine, like actual gold necklaces. Um, so I was looking for some sort of slightly, not chunkier, because obviously it was going to be quite dainty, but just bigger, just bigger scale costume jewellery than this. So uh, yeah, that's going back. Again, really, really pretty. And some more petite, probably work really well. Now the start of my returns from Joni Clothing. It's this skirt. It's gorgeous. I blooming love it. It's only going back because again, oh, I say I blooming love it. I really, really like it. It's not going, it's going back because it's on the like not absolutely love stakes. And the reason it's in the not absolutely love stakes is again, really nitpicky. A, I really feel like this skirt should have pockets and it doesn't and that upsets me. <laughs> B, the yellow is just a bit dark for my liking. It's more, far more of a mustard, which again, difficult to tell on the, on the website. I've also seen that like Joni have done a sneak peek of their summer collection coming up and there are skirts that I much prefer. So yeah, it's gorgeous. It's just not for me. Um, so that's going back. I do have the horrible feeling though that this could be the kind of thing that I reorder at a later date. Maybe if it goes in the sale or something. I don't know. I was really torn on this one. This was the hardest decision. 
Also going back is the dress version. It's the Martha dress from Joni. Again, it's so cute. It's so like nearly perfect. But for me, um, again, the yellow, not quite the right yellow. Again, God, I wish it had pockets. And also B, an issue I have quite a lot with um, shirt fronted stuff. Like not always. So I will try things on if I, if I absolutely adore it. But like, or really, really like the look of it. But generally I avoid them because they gape over the bust. And yeah, this just the placement of the buttons meant that it, it really gaped. And I think even sewing it up, which I do sometimes, because a lot of the time, and this is one of those times, um, they have a side zip anyway, so the buttons aren't really needed. I just sew it up at the front. I've got a couple of Lindy Bop things I've done that to. I've got a Kath Kidston dress I've done that to. But yeah, I just feel like, again, don't love it enough to go to that effort to make it work. So it's going back. Next on my going back list is this kind of plaited satin ribbon belt from Joni as well. Uh, reason for this going back is purely really that I ordered it to go with the stripy dress and skirt um, and I'm not keeping those. Also, again, silver not gold and it's kind of like a plaited ribbon effect and it's already fraying a bit at the edges and I just feel like, yeah, again, really nice. Don't love it, going back. Last one on the going back is this dress oh it's so pretty again this one was a tough call it is really pretty it's in the sale it's like only 28 quid i'm already wondering if i'm going mad sending it back but no there's something about it that just when i try it on i'm feeling like you know it wasn't even a no like i always feel like if there's a question in your head if you're like oh should i send this back or should i keep it you probably need to send it back because Give you a quick sneak peek of my keeps. Here are some keeps. Here are some keeps. And all of those things, I just put them on and was like, yep, keeping them. And for some reason that dress, I didn't. And I do think that is one of my top tips. Like if you're questioning it, you probably don't like it. Get it off, send it back. Yeah, I'm sending it back. And I'm actually wearing something from the, uh, the keep pile as well, which is this little cropped cardi from new look totally blame uh forever amber for that one she uh really really hard actually to find waist length cardigans so especially when i wear them with dresses um and skirts and things it's not so much of an issue with jeans i like them to fall at my waist because that's where the dress nips in um and uh yeah she was like new look new look's got them in loads of colors and they have so i bought three um <laughs> and they're great and they're 9.99 so I don't know how long they'll last. And this one happens to match the colour of Cinderella's dress perfectly. So yeah, that's today's working from home outfit. Uh, Cinderella t-shirt from uh, Disney Couture in Anaheim. Um, <laughs> little new look cardigan. Trusty ASOS Farley jeans. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna shove some trainers on now and we'll go to the post office. Have a bit of a walk as well. The reason for the walk is that my birthday present off my parents was this Fitbit? <laughs> yep, I've joined the Fitbit revolution. Um, so I have just been trying to increase my fitness. So I've never been a gym bunny, let's face it. I've never been someone who loves exercise. I've never been super, super fit. But I am usually someone who has exercise. Like you will have seen it in previous vlogs, like going to yoga, going to the gym. You know, I did run before I did my foot in. <laughs> um, so just to kind of keep my body healthy. With all the rush of the wedding and everything last year, I stopped going to the gym, um, did the opposite probably of a lot of brides. <laughs> I actually did still lose weight for the wedding. Um, that's all gone back on. Um, but uh, yeah, so I haven't done any real exercise at all and I'm actually starting to feel it. Like I'm a body confident person and I don't talk about weight a lot. I don't talk about losing weight. I don't talk about diets because I know that can be a real issue for some people and I don't want anyone to feel bad about their bodies. My thing is that everyone can look great no matter their shape, no matter their size. But I am having some issues, <laughs> really. Just like little niggles that are starting, like a bit of knee pain, things like that, that I just think, do you know what? I'm gonna jump on this now. I'm in my 30s. I can't afford to take my body for granted. Um, so I have got a Fitbit and I'm slowly upping my step goal. Um, so I'm not jumping right into the 10,000 a day because like, God, that's quite a lot. And you will have seen the beginning of the year, I tried to do 10,000 a day based on my iPhone, like just straight away. And it was just, 
I just gave up because it just felt like it was taking forever and it felt unachievable. So I'm slowly stepping it up. So I'm on 5,500 this week and I didn't quite make it last night. Um, I was only like 200 steps off. So it's really silly. Like I could have gone and run around the car park and that probably would have done it, but I was just tired. So I went to bed listening to my body. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to the post office. I'm going to take the long way around. going to get my steps up for the day. And um, it's really late because to editing that vlog took far longer than I thought. So it's like three o'clock and I still haven't had any lunch. I had a little like snack, some like salmon at about half 11. I've eaten really weirdly today. I basically have had Easter egg for breakfast and then some smoked salmon for a snack. Talk about trying to look after my body. I'm not doing so well today. So I'm gonna go and buy some salad or something nice. I've got a nice risotto tonight. We've had this week actually our first HelloFresh box and I've been super, super impressed with it. So we've actually renewed for next week. Um, it's been great whilst I've been really busy not having to think about tea. This isn't hashtag a spawn or anything. Um, just really, really enjoyed it. It's been great food and I really like variety. And I'm just talking at you and I need to get out of the blooming flat because I've obviously got cabin fever because I just keep going on and on and on and on and on and on. It's Saturday and I am at Resorts World, as you can see in the background today, to do some mini colour workshops for people at their spring fashion event. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it'd be lovely to, you know, introduce a bit of colour into people's lives for the spring. Um, I'm wearing one of my one of my new Joni clothing dresses. Um, and it's just a little bit early because I misjudged my train time slightly. So I might go and grab a coffee and then it'll be time to go and set up. I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog during because obviously I'll be working. Um, but I'll see if I can capture something for you. <laughs> Lunch. That should be nice. Right. Just hope we don't get too wet. 